Here we have the little uh, homebrew 1960s by 40 meter CW and AM transmitter. Um, previous video showed uh, CW and phone operation, but the phone uh, was just a tone, 400 hertz tone, showing the modulation. Uh, I've now rewired the microphone socket. Um, it used to have a strange little uh, two pin type in there. And I've swapped it for um, the type that's on my ICOM uh, transceivers. I'm quite an old one. <laughs> but um, anyway, I swapped it for one of these so I could plug a, an ICOM uh, mic in it. And why do so the press the talk works as well? So we'll just give a little quick demonstration. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the scope there is showing the uh, modulated uh, carrier. There's a little um, loop um, in the and the PA tank coil, and the, that picks up enough signal to, to feed the scope. Let's demonstrate that again. This is VE7, VE7GUH, VE7GUH. Testing on a dummy load on 40 meters, 7.05 megahertz on a dummy load. Roughly 10 watts output, 10 watts output into a dummy load. VE7 GUH, VE7 GUH. And there we have it. Little, uh, little two meter, uh, sorry, little um, 40 meter rig. Um, probably used uh, on field days and the like back in the day. Um, it's quite a, quite a neat construction. Quite impressed with it, really. It also had a, a bad tube, the um, 64. Uh, driver tube for the um that's face splitter driver tube for the 6aq5s had a, a heater to cathode shot so there was a bit of a hum getting into the sig into the modulation so i swapped that out for a new tube and the other tubes test good including the output tube which is a 2e26 which i think is a vhf tetrode um specified i think up to maybe 15 watts at the most Something like that, but it's giving about 12 watts on CW and about 10 watts on AM. And it's a little bit lower on AM because the uh, the, the HC is also feeding these other tubes on AM. And um, it reduces the available HT current. So it's it's struggling a little bit, I think, on the power supply it's got. But uh, it does okay, and there's not much chirp on the um, on the CW signal either. So uh, I think it's uh, it's pretty good now. Put some extra suppression on the uh, on the mic and the press the talk input as well, and um, there we go. It's uh, but I would say early nineteen sixties, forty meter homebrew uh, AMCW rig.